Hello. Hi. Ah, and welcome back to the 60s. <laughs> yes. Because yes. Today we're looking at this. Look. This rather beautiful brace of instruments. Yes. Uh, the, the Epiphone Jack Cassidy Signature Edition. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely, yes. And this, uh, th this is a bass that, that's been around for a while, right? A little, little while in the Epiphone catalogue, yeah. Um, I think uh, Jack Asti, it was one of those collaborations, I think one of the first signature collaborations. Okay, but well, this, that's not easy to say, is it? Uh, <laughs> you got it. Um, the Epiphone brought out, which was uh, in the mid 80s to 90s, um, but modelled on a Les Paul Gibson bass that he used at some point. Right. When you say a Les Paul bass... Yeah. Because um, this is obviously looks like a 335 to well, me. Well, ish, ish. It's got the uh, the kind of, you know, the, the smaller cutaway this side. Right. If you rounded that off. Yeah. Right, you know? Right. But, but, yeah. So the, the Nothing used to have... like a Les Paul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. 1972, I think you got a, a Les Paul bass. Um, the, they used to be short scale. Um, uh, this one isn't. This is a. He, full, by the, he was Jack band. Cassidy, by the way, was in a band called uh, Jefferson Airplane. Yes. Which goes back, you know, yonks and yonks. And that's just a little, little back history to who he is. You have to go. I'm not going to explain who he is. You have to go and look it up if you're interested. Yeah. Sorry. I'm do all the work for you. Come on. Um, uh, so, on. Uh, so yeah. So yeah. He Jack found Cassidy, the bass. He found this lovely bass in '72. He loved the sound of this like semi-hollow, short-scale Les Paul bass that he found, but it, it was lacking a bit of low end. So all through, I mean, through the '70s and half of the '80s as well, yeah. he was apparently looking for something it, it, with short scale, uh, sorry, long scale, but hollow body um, that would give a little bit more low end than his Les Paul bass theme. He was on a quest. Master. He was on a bass quest. He was, yes. Uh, for literally more bass in his bass. Right. Uh, which is, which is fair enough, because that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. If the absolutely. clue's in the name, right? It's true. It's true. Um, but apparently he couldn't get it, and he got very close in 1985. He found another Les Paul bass somewhere that was getting a little bit closer to the sound, a little bit more of a low end. Um, but in the end, he just contacted Epiphone. They worked together, and they produced this. Um, this lovely... Les Paul-ish looking signature uh, <laughs> semi-hollow bass. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. <laughs> well, he was a fussy fellow, wasn't he, old Jack? But he got there in the end, right? He did. Only took him about 20 years. Yes, that's and, right. And so what's, it's, uh, tell me, what's, mm. what's the idea? We've, we've got one pickup. One pickup, so, that's right. So obviously, um, you know, we, we, we've not got a, a lot to play with on that front. Or have we? What's, what's that? You're right, you're right. Yeah, so you, um, he, he would have had a, I think a single humbucker or a double humbucker in his original Les Paul bass. Um, but they apparently, again, just to, for the characteristic of being hollow, that he wanted to design his own pickup as well with Epiphone. Yeah. Um, and they've added, yeah, this little gizmo with a very tone, which you guys, uh, guitar fans, might uh, have recognized as from like a 335 or 355, actually, with a very tone, I think, on a 345. No, one of, those, five. one of those. It's a 355. Five. Uh, yeah, it's got the very tone option. So it's a passive um, tone switch, really. Like we would have a look in. Yeah, like a tone filter. That's it. So different impedances of, uh, of so yeah, through the pickup. So it'll give you different, slightly different sounds okay. as you go through. So, well, um, without further shall ado, I? Shall, shall I? we? Shall you? Oh, yes, you shall. I Come shall. On. Well, there you go. Look, show, so, us, show us what that does. Actually, what have I got on here? Let me check. Yeah, it's all clean on here. So we are on the 50 gauge We're out of three. So we've got 50, 250, 500. Oh, crikey. So go here. So this is what 50 sounds like with full tone. Tone off a little bit. It's a lovely, That's lovely a warm sound. sound that is. Is that the right. tone off? That's tone, yeah, completely off. You know, I prefer that with the tone on. That's you don't normally get that. I like it. Lovely I like sound, it. Okay, tool ba <laughs> tone back on. What? We're on the 250. Meaty. There we go. Half on. off. 
you know, this is a funny thing, right? Because normally, right, but you get yeah, P bass or jazz bass. You, not jazz bass, actually, that's not true. But P bass, for instance, you turn the tone off and you go. Oh, just, <laughs> this, however, I like more with the tone off. The tone on. The tone that, on. What, what a strange thing. It's got a very, very full, but clear sound, as you said. Like it, it's, uh, yeah, as you said. I think he's he discovered that low end that he was looking for. Right. Okay. Well, I like there we it. Go. And you've got you've got a third set. We've got third. So this is full five hundred. Uh, I mean, that's got to be better, right? Because it's a higher number. You would think. Let's see what it does. Set, those harmonics really sing out actually with that, 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 that setting. That's got more of like a um, back pickup sound to it, isn't it? Actually, mm -hmm. like a bit more punch. So, like it. This is with the tone half off. And fully off. I wonder if this sounds as great. That's good. That's great, isn't it? So, even though it's got only got one pickup, actually, you're getting loads of different tones out of it, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. So oh, this is a yeah JCB1 pickup. Say so all designed with just for this bass. Okay. Um, so yeah, no, I guess it goes through some specs. What we yeah. Got. So yeah, what are the other features on this? Yes. Yeah, so we have um, maple body. So you've got yeah maple top right. sides and back. Okay. Um, it, I've just noticed for this year or th this model that's just been updated, they've just they've gone for instead of the whole solid color, you've got this uh, lovely kind of brown stained finish on the back. That is very nice. Which is lovely. It looks mm. more traditional towards like a Gibson finish. Um, you've got mahogany neck. Uh, mahogany! Yeah, all the mahogany. Uh, Rosa board. Uh, obviously, this is like, um, uh, what are they call this? Three, three point bridge. This is the only part of the, the base inside. Like a Robin the, Reliant bridge, isn't it? Yeah. A three wheeler. <laughs> so, yeah, good shout. Uh, it's the only bit with a bit of wood underneath in here. This hasn't got a center block through the middle like most semi acoustics would, uh, or semi hollows. Um, it's just got a, one big chunk bit at the back, a chunk oh. of wood here just to keep the bridge, bridge it's nice and secure. Mm. Uh, 19 to 1 ratio tuners, um, and your Veritone, that's about it. So, um, as we said, th these have been around a while, but I think, uh, th are these some new colours? Is that what's going yeah, on here? Yeah, I think so. So if you look on our website at the moment, so we've got this, yeah, lovely ice blue kind of metallic finish you got there. This gorgeous like, candy apple red as well. That is, that is very handsome, isn't it? There are two other colours. Uh, so check on the website. I think they're, I don't know if they're coming out, but they look like they're pre-order for December sort of time. There's a black and a gold as well. Gold um, top, which I think his was like the classic one he uses was a gold top. So, right. um, but yeah, yeah, colour for everyone. Fancy well, it. Well, well done, Jack, for, uh, you know, for <laughs> persisting in your quest. Yeah, and too yeah, right, man. Too yeah. right. Fantastic. Well, this has been all about the bass. Uh, this has been the Jack Cassidy signature before. Oh. And uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, a lovely bass, go buy one immediately. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.